Hello, my name is Rick Butler, co-director of the Sports Performance Volleyball Club in Aurora, Illinois. In the video lesson you're about to watch, we're going to take a look at what we call defensive loading, which is preparing to dig the ball prior to the attack. We will take a look at what the feet do before, during, and after ball contact, as well as the positioning of the arms and platform during the same phases. The players you will be watching are members of the Seitoku High School team, which is currently the defending Japanese national champion. I've had the privilege of traveling all over the world over the past 30 plus years of coaching, and there's no place in the world where high school age athletes play defense with the skill, relentlessness, or fighting spirit of the Japanese. Defensive plays that in the States we would consider extraordinary are just ordinary by Japanese standards. I believe there are a couple of reasons for the high level of success of the Japanese defenders. First and foremost, they put in a tremendous number of hours from a very early age in training what we call first contact skills, which are passing the serve and digging versus the attack. They start performing these skills at an early age when hand-eye coordination and motor skills are more easily trained, which allows their reading and anticipation skills to become very elite due to seeing so many different situations so often during training and competition. The second, and probably just as important of a reason, is the technique and mechanics they use to perform defensive skills. Volleyball is what I would call a feet-first sport, and by that I mean that non-stop nature of the ball moving from one player to another requires the initiation of some type of footwork to perform virtually every skill at a high level. 